Hi guys. So first off, I know I haven't made a video in forever. So thank you to anyone that's still here. I appreciate it. Second of all, I have changed my channel name. It's now Video Blood. It used to be Daughter of Celluloid. I basically just think Video Blood sounds cooler. And thirdly, these are fake glasses. So I semi recently rewatched the Peter Greenaway movie Eisenstein in Guanajuato, which is about the director Sergei Eisenstein and is a sort of fictionalized elaboration on his time in Mexico. And honestly, I just want to talk about it because this was a fun movie and I really like Peter Greenaway. Now, I'd forgotten how manic this movie was in a lot of ways. Some of the things that Greenaway does with space um, actually really reminded me of um, my shroom trip earlier this year, especially this part where the same space keeps changing as if more dimensions are being added to the same room as you look around it. And there's some other, you know, really standout creative shots like this one where first you can see past both sides of the walls and slowly the walls just close in while the characters are standing there. I also love uh, this part where the camera just keeps circling around the bed as the characters walk around it. And of course this one with the columns and the characters changing positions in different parts of the room while the conversations just keep going unbroken. And to go along with the, you know, really like dizzying cinematography, um, Eisenstein's character has this really like coked up uh, dialogue slash monologue going, uh, which I think really lends itself to that chaotic feel. The actor they cast for Eisenstein, Elmer Beck, um, just does such a great job. This was great casting. He is so good at being like a lovable weirdo. So one of the criticisms I saw is that Elmer Beck didn't portray like a realistic Eisenstein and that's fair enough and I'm not sure if Greenaway was even going for that to be honest. To me it doesn't seem that way and um, I think he's more of uh, an over-the-top character in this and I kind of see the whole thing as a Eisenstein inspired Fantasia. I mean it's definitely not going for a more realistic biography in any sense so yeah to me like that's not an issue at all. Luis Alberti is also great as the co-star. Um, I probably pronounced both their names wrong so sorry but yeah the dialogue is kind of an overload and it kind of feels like you're watching a play or you know it feels like um, that scene in four rooms if anyone besides me has seen or cares about four rooms. There's a scene where in the last part Tarantino kind of corners you and just starts like talking at you about some like movie nerd <laughs> that no one cares about except him <laughs> and um, it's kind of like that it reminded me of that but in like a good way where it's it's more fun. <laughs> Also, some of the dialogue is just really funny. Like, um, there's a part where Eisenstein says, let, like, his d is an even sadder clown than he is, which is just a great line. And speaking of d if you if you watch this movie, you are going to see some. So, fair warning, Greenaway does like his nudity. And of course, like, because it's Greenaway, there's so much great um, imagery and shot composition. I think the shower scenes are some of my favorites. And also Eisenstein's bedroom is really beautiful and I think some of the shots in there look amazing. Also, I love that they animated some of Eisenstein's sexy sketches. If you know much about Eisenstein, you might know he did a lot of these fun little drawings that depict like unusual little scenes. So I just really like that they uh, included that and animated some of those. But yeah, I really like how Greenaway has like experimented with his style over the years. Um, his newer movies do still have that 
like grandiose artistic feel to them but he definitely isn't stuck in one aesthetic and with this movie specifically because it was about Eisenstein I thought it was really fitting that you know he did a lot of shots and cinematic techniques that are a bit more like artsy and experimental and creative and I just thought it worked really well. Uh, a comment that my boyfriend made when we watched this was that it would have a much wider audience if they hadn't done the like prolonged weird sex scene um and that may be so but i mean it's green away you know you don't want to censor the man so personally i don't like this scene i'm not going to get too into that discussion because i'm trying to keep this video as pg as i can but yeah, putting aside the sort of weird metaphors of the scene, this was definitely like a dubious consent scene. It reminded me of the one in Old Boy and some other movies I've seen, where one person says it hurts, but they don't stop or slow down or whatever. And I mean, that's unfortunately not unrealistic. And I mean, there's a conversation there about whether showing something like that is worthwhile because that's an experience a lot of people do have that they wouldn't necessarily class as not consensual or if it's bad because it's normalizing that kind of dynamic but like I said uh, I won't get too into the argument and I'll just say I only like love scenes where everyone's having a good time so this one was not for me. In any case, I am really looking forward to that sequel that is supposedly being made. Um, Eisenstein in Hollywood, I think. I definitely want to see Elmer Beck as Eisenstein again. I, like I said, I think he's really fun. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the movie. Um, it was good to do one of these again. Making videos definitely does not come naturally to me. Um, and this is my second time trying to film this one. But yeah, hopefully I can do more of these because I do like to talk to you guys about movies. Thank you for watching. See you later. Hopefully not two years later. <laughs>